we're heading to Elmia 2022. This is exhibition, having all kinds of wood production and forestry equipments all around the world for sure. So we will see what we can find here. 200 hectares of uh, potentials in the future. 50,000 guests. Let's go. Finforlia is the biggest nursery company in Finland. We produce annually about 60 million seedlings. That is about 10 times what is grown in Iceland. And we have four nurseries in Finland. One is in the very south in Nurmjärvi, close to Helsinki. One is in Lapland in Rovaniemi, where Santa Claus is living. And, uh, and uh, two, are, uh, two, two other nurseries are in the middle. We can grow seedlings of the whole uh, Finland, but we sell also seedlings uh, to uh, Sweden from north to south. We are selling also seedlings to Estonia and let's say some small deliveries to other countries. Other countries also. I know something about Iceland forestry, but there are only two nurseries they can't grow uh, so much uh, seedlings what would be needed in Iceland. If we compare the Iceland to a seedling market to Finland or to Sweden, in Finland uh, we have mainly only pine and spruce. <laughs> uh, little birds, very little, large. Uh, Sweden, pine is most popular, spruce uh, is the second most popular. Daukas fir is uh, growing in Sweden, Kontorta has uh, some, sh some share. How I see, it's a correct way to plant for climate reasons. Uh, but also, this is a long run topic, uh, it generates natural wood resources which can be utilized and so on. I know that it takes time, but that's life. It takes time. I've been in, uh, in Iceland and uh, nature is different, but that's perhaps my personality that I like to be in a forest. That's a little bit difficult nowadays in Iceland. But let's hope that after a uh, couple of decades uh, it, would be, it would be easier there. Portable Winch has been in business since uh, 2004. What we want to do is to make you know, hard works, make it as simple and as easy as possible, like pulling logs, pulling big games, uh, pulling cables, everything you can think of, whatever you need to pull, we have a solution for that. So we're not, we're not only making a great winch, but we are providing a complete solution. So we have the winch, we have the anchoring system, the pulley system, the carabiners, we are providing the ropes and everything. So we have battery powered equipment, we have gas powered equipment, and we are partnering up with the Honda engines. So we, not only we have great winches, but they are reliable, they are, they are always working when you need it. So, so they are, we have four pro, pro series model, and we also have an industrial lineup for lifting application, just like if you would need to, uh, to do a utility repair, repair on those pylon, for example. So we have, we have those, those, those kind of models also available. Portablewinch.com, portablewinch.info actually, and you can find your country and uh, get all the information that you need. Some inside information. This is Malva harvested. Uh, this is quite uh, small and useful equipment, probably for Iceland's forest. Right now, when 
in the upcoming future. Then later on we'll take the big machines. But this is a good stuff. So this is the prototype. This is the first uh, all electric uh, processor. And it's a combination. This was just finished as a, as a, pro as a project. So the battery will go all day. And then the, you can switch the battery out at the end of the day to charge it. <laughs> okay, this what you see here, it is a dipper box and this is the most effective tool today for stump removal uh, to be attached to the excavator in all world. Uh, in average it removes stumps within uh, 20 seconds. Uh, it can go uh, up to 900 millimeters below the ground. So basically if you are in, let's say, in average Scandinavian forest, you can do two hectares per day with this tool, with your excavator. For the bigger, mo bigger model, you need excavator around 20 ton. I would say starting from 18 to 22. And we also have smaller model with cutting diameter of 600 millimeters. For there, the sweet spot is, uh, let's say, eight to 10 ton. But it also works with six ton excavators. So this is, this is really efficient. And all what will be left from the stump are chips. So this is what where you can leave the nutrition back to the, the ground. Because if you dig out the stump and uh, remove the stumps to waste yard, you're also removing the nutrition from, the, from yeah. the ground. So this is the greenest way also. The fastest and the greenest. We are from Estonia. The company is in Estonia. We are building this uh, equipment in Estonia. And it is invented in Estonia and uh, also develops there. that makes Krome uh, very special and the thing that makes Krome 82 volt platform stand out is our battery platform. The other battery systems have for years now been telling us that it's the amount of amp, amp hours on the batteries that matters. That's wrong actually. It's not the amp hours that matters. It's how many watt hours you can cram in to one battery. Our largest battery contains nearly 580 watt hours. If you were to cram in 580 watt hours into a 36 volt system, you need to have at least 17 amp hours. That means the battery will be so bulky and so heavy it won't be usable at all actually. In Kromer, we do not have a fuel tank of 50 liters. We have a fuel tank of 150 liters. So we don't have to choose between power and drive times. We can have really super powerful motors and still have enough drive times. And that's what's special about Kramer. This is not to replace the 36 volt system. This is not to replace the 56 volt system. This is to replace petrol for the first time in real life. This chainsaw that we will launch after the summer has a motor of 3,400 watts. You have a chain speed of 25 meters per second and you have a torque of 4 newton meter. This is grossly powerful to be quite honest. Most of the time the only thing battery operated chainsaws has to go for them is the chain speed. It's the chain speed that makes the saw work in real life. However, you don't have any raw power behind the chain speed. So usually when you press battery operated chainsaw, it will stop, it will cut out. This one, when you press it, when the saw detects the increase in resistance, the saw just pushes in more power. So where each and every other battery operated chainsaw will for sure stop. This will continue cutting and we're super proud of it. At Globe, the company who owns Kramer, we have three development centers 
across the world. We have one in US, one in China and one in Europe. And the one in Europe is located here in Jönköping. So we're super proud of the fact that so many of these machines are actually developed in Sweden. We produce each and every component in our own factories ourselves. So we have our own motor factory, our own metal plant, plastic plant, and last but not least, our own battery and electronics plant. So we produce everything ourselves. The only thing that we do not produce ourselves are the physical, actual battery cells. We work with Murata, Sanyo and Samsung. By using those producers, we are quite confident that production of the cells is ethically and morally done quite right. We only use high-grade, A-grade quality cells. That means our cells will last for very, very long. As an end user, you will get a warranty period of 10 years on each and every battery that you buy. I believe we are the only brand in the global market that offers 10 years warranty on the battery. We are so proud of the fact that we design everything, we develop everything ourselves, we produce everything ourselves. So we're quite confident with the quality of the product because we own the quality control not only in the end assembly line, we own the quality control in the production of each and every component. And I'm not saying that we do not make mistakes because we make mistakes also as well as others. However, we are, most of the time, we are much, much quicker catching up with those mistakes and correcting them. Since we produce everything ourselves, if we find a way to make the motor more efficient, more powerful, a bit lighter, we can change it as, as fast as that. So we are super agile and it's really fun and exciting to be working with the government. We have uh, Fox Forestry, it's a forest management company, and uh, we also uh, are the Logosol dealers in the U.S. So we're working in, uh, in along the coast of Maine. We have forest management services, and we use the Logosol machines every day. Yeah, Logosol is all over the all over the world, 60, 62 countries. I think we're in almost every state of the United States. We have uh, Logosol machines. Um, and this last year was our most successful year for bandsaw mill sales. So the chainsaw mills have been around for a little while and, and those sales have also been really strong. And, and so I, I think that 
Iceland has a lot of potential with the thinnings that are coming up and the age class of your forests are, are kind of entering the same diameter uh, at the same time. So I, I think there's, there should be good demand in this uh, sort of homeowner uh, bandsaw mill and also in the professional. A lot of sales have also been coming through craftspeople. Okay, so the people that are actually in the production of, of uh, you know, making furniture and making tables. Basically, this is the biggest forestry fair in the, in, the, in the world, you know. We are producing and delivering biomass boilers all over Sweden. We have sold uh, today actually a thousand boilers in Sweden, mainly to farmers, forestry owners, etc. Uh, and mainly to customers who own their own forests. Uh, so it's a, it's a very self-sufficient and sustainable way to, to produce en energy. And the, the boilers are from 20 kilowatts, homeowners, up to 500 kilowatts. So that's bigger, bigger houses. Och eh, 29 poäng på Theres. Ja! Ja, bra jobbat på tjejerna. Jättekul. Here we have the land stand register. Different compartments depending on different types of forest. So here is a typical plan with the map, aerial photographs and so on. Uh, tap on a stand, see uh, an overhead or see all the, the data about it, you know, species, uh, actions, um, comments, environmental issues and if we had uh, internet which we don't have right now we could uh, calculate according to the latest uh, laser scan. <laughs> just, just Sweden, some in Norway, but 99% in Sweden. The basal area is the number one parameter to measure volume. Every tree that goes beyond, beyond this, you count. One, two, three. And you go like 360. And that's your basal area of your triangle. Then you need the height. And then you have the volume, height and uh, stem or shape. The drones can really make it efficiency in forestry. When we are analyzing forest with drones, um, um, if, if you're going to do a management plan, uh, usually we take like a, a person would take like maybe 30 to 5, 50 hectares a day, and and we do about 880 a day, um, and that's uh, that's just the efficiency of the drones and how they fly and how we analyze the data because we use AI, we use uh, data uh, analysis, and we compress this into a cloud structure, and that's. That's the beauty of it, yeah, using, combining a lot of different data, yeah. Mm -hmm. 